what would be the difference for the the tractors that you're developing for it in the North American market? Primary use in North American market is milling, and so uh, the tractor that we might use in the Middle East uh, would be doing stimulation runs. Mm-hmm. There's no vibration. There's no motor. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, the uh, uh, the design of the tractor has to be much more robust in order to survive the market. So um, uh, we adapted the technology we had originally developed uh, to improve the reliability and to uh, uh, operate at lower pressures and higher flow through things that are important to the uh, North American market. Okay, interesting. Cody, um, you deal a lot with the North American market as well, I believe. So you've seen, you're seeing like the the success of that with that. Um, Is there a difference in the length that's being used in the USA? And like, has there been kind of challenges that you've overcome with bringing bringing in the milling tractor? Oh, absolutely. So um, lateral length, um, especially since about 2008 with the shell revolution and fracking, um, lateral lengths have significantly increased. I mean, there's there's some wells in the U.S. that are four and a half mile long and lateral length, um, so it's continuing to increase. So I would say, on average, now in the Permian Basin, a, a, a two miles a two mile lateral or longer is pretty standard for your your major or larger operators. There's still some shorter ones, but um, a lot of that is being driven by oil production out of these wells um, and increasing lateral length increases the oil production out of a singular well. And then that in turn reduces a lot of uh, costs that are associated with rig moves, casing equipment, that type of stuff. So um, that's that's the direction that they're going, and technology is trying to keep up with that change. You, you may have answered this too, but just to clarify, why do you think it took so long for the tractors to be used in the U.S.? And is there like are they seeing major benefits from using this technology now? Well, once once again, absolutely. Um, the, the technology is there, but uh, a lot of the shale technology is driven by a need. So as these laterals increase, there's a need for this technology to be developed and then utilized. Um, with the 312 tractor, as lateral lengths increase past two, two and a half miles, the current availability of tools to assist these operators reach target depth or the toe of their well bores um, we're no longer effective. And that's where the 312 tractor is starting to take over that market. And I, I might add that in the Middle East, um, a lot of our work is on islands. And so to drill a second well isn't the option because you have to build another island first. That's extremely expensive. So long laterals here became the norm well before uh, they did in the US where it was easy to move just to another location nearby, drill your next well and, and continue on. Yep. 